So, joining us in the press conference, two grandmasters from Pool C, Vincent Kaimer and Levon Aranian. Thank you for coming. Levon, unbelievable game, fantastic uh, opportunities for, for both of you. Congratulations on the win. Pending the other game, that could already mean that you've won your group. The first question I wanted to ask you, you seem to play quite fast the opening and only stopped to start thinking when Vincent captured the pawn on e5. Were you expecting this variation today? Had you, had you prepared this uh, situation? I think uh, I analyzed it some time ago. Honestly, I didn't expect this variation. But uh, I thought, you know, just to play something uh, that is, I think, interesting. Uh, I've analyzed this line uh, a little for black. Uh, it's a risky line, but, uh, you know, uh, we're not here to play, uh, you know, just uh, boring chess. We want to have some fun as well in the process. And I think uh, Vincent was having a lot of fun as well. Uh, I mean, his play was very daring and, uh, and very uh, full of uh, desire to win the game as well. Otherwise, of course, I would never get the chance to win the game. It's tough against such a strong opponent to win with black. Well, as far as I could see from the reactions on Twitter and the online media reactions, the game was very exciting. Vincent, uh, G4, uh, G5, B4 uh, seemed to be the correct moves, moves according to the, to the computer. But it always seems to me that your position was like hanging on a thread. Your king on D2, you had to play very precisely in that position. Uh, would you agree on that assessment? Yeah, yeah, sure. I mean, it's very hard to play, I guess, also for both sides, because, I mean, if I get what I want, I basically win the game more or less immediately. But, yeah, I never got the chance, and I also don't quite know when it got bad, yeah, because it's very, it's not hard, easy to say when Black is w having a good position or when it's already getting bad for me. So where this important point was, okay, I think that I also had seen this line <coughs> at some point for white, and I know that this line to take the pawn exists, and <laughs> I don't know, I just remembered that somewhere I get to play knight d3 back, rook d1, and he takes on g2 or something in the main computer line, but this is, okay, it's never, not enough precise to actually remember what were the correct moves. And yeah, of course, I think in the game I uh, didn't see this move knight g6 for him, and this was, I think, a problem for me, because then I also had to spend more time, because I didn't expect this move, this, yeah. You were actually very low on time when the critical uh, position came about. Online, online commentators suggest that maybe f3 instead of rook h5 was the move to keep the balance, although it's a very complicated position. Oh, rook, rook d5. Yeah. Uh, sorry, uh, uh, f3 instead of rook h5 or move 29. Yeah, then rook d5. Yeah, well, I haven't analysed the position, but that's just something that they were talking about online. Okay. Huh? You can look it afterwards. It could be balanced, yeah, because uh, tactically balanced, five, yes, yeah. Yeah, tactically yeah. balanced. Uh, there's yeah. Did you sense that rook h5 was uh, yes. possibly uh, his uh, losing move? Well, if it doesn't win on the spot, then it definitely loses. So that's one of the things. And when he played it, I started doubting myself. I said, wait a second, did I blunder this? And then, uh, yeah, somehow I remember that everything is under control. Okay. Yes, thanks for the game. It's very exciting and hope to see you back tomorrow. Thank you. Yeah.